My name is Dr. Karambu Ringera. I am the founder and president of an organization called International Peace Initiatives. International Peace Initiatives works to mitigate the impact of HIV and AIDS poverty and violence in the lives of women and children in particular. We also have a leadership program known as the New Generation Leaders Program that trains especially youth, men and women, uh, on ways to lead from within. Today we live in a world that is full of conflict, violence, disease, poverty, and so much suffering. And when we look around and see and experience all these things, we might think, where is the hope? Who is the leader who is going to save us from all these problems? On the other hand, the way the world is constructed today, we have a sense of always looking outwards to find the answers to all the challenges that we face. We think that solutions will come from outside. So we never live our lives as who we are. We are always living our lives according to what the social media is saying, what television tells us, what our neighbors tell us, what our parents tell us, what other people say about us. We never stop to look within and really see who we are. We live in a world that always has told us that there is an expert out there who can come and assess our situation and tell us what are the solutions that we need. Everyone is, has someone to blame for the problems. No one takes accountability for the problems. You can, whether it's in the United States or whether it's in, in the UK or Germany or Kenya or Uganda, it doesn't matter. Leaders, I don't really think we have leaders anymore. What we have is people filling positions of authority who only understand how to manipulate and turn things to get what, what they want. But leadership, per se, has long been absent from the world. Uh, we, we can't improve if everything we do is from fear. We can't, we can't grow as a society if everything we do is we, uh, we're fearful of the other side or we demonize the other side and we blame everything's being blamed. We vote for our leaders and we vote from what the outside is saying about what leadership is and we don't really look within to see what kind of leader we want to see. We forget that actually we are the people who vote and elect these leaders. So the leaders that we have, good or bad, are a, a reflection of who we are. If they're not good, that is us. If they are very good, that is about us. In Syria, you know, we have an absolute total breakdown. Of, of any any type of law at all, and we have countries uh, supporting this group, or sort of supporting that group, or supporting President Assad, or and now we have the Putin coming in for Russia, and the United States is in there, and, and NATO's in there, and everyone has their own self-interest what they're doing. But in the end, you know, like they, they said in the ancient world, you know, when two or more elephants fight, it's only the grass that suffers, and the people in the world now are, are have suffered enough, and it's time that we quit talking about it. It's time where we, we, instead of blaming our leaders and waiting for somebody to come save us, it's time where we finally come up and say, you know, we need a new generation of leaders. Are you the kind of leader who relies on a kind of disconnected skillfulness to get through things? shut down the emotions and push through what needs to be done? Or can you convene honest and courageous conversations and create space for genuine connection and healing within your team? Can you lead at the level of the heart, lead from within? Or are you too disconnected from your own heart?
to know how to respond. You cannot lead anyone until you first lead yourself. And what is and of course everyone knows that, but when I ask the question or any of us ask the question, who are you? People don't they don't know. They say, oh, I'm a doctor, I've got three degrees, I've got one degree, I'm the minister of this or I'm the vice chancellor of that. And they identify who they are by what different titles they have. And that has nothing to do with who they are. So when you ask them who they are, for the most part, they don't know. We have to guide them. You know, and first of all, I ask, do you want to know who you are? And at some point, when they decide, yes, I do, then we can give them a process so that they can find who they are. Okay, now, once they find out who they are, then they have to really decide if they're going to lead themselves or not. Are they going to be that person, or are they just going to talk about it? And so they have to understand that they have to do, you know, so if I'm kind, if I'm compassionate, if I uh, believe in, in, in laughter, if I believe in curious and curiosity and learning, if I'm loving, you know, I can say that, but it doesn't matter. I have to be that and do that. The new generation leadership program shows people how to live from the heart. People learn to use intuition and emotion as forms of knowing, vulnerability as an expression of radical love, focusing on people rather than policies or institutions, and seeing the humanity in the other. We work with people to live and lead from inner authenticity and integrity. I've had a fantastic experience for the NGL training. I've always had this question within me in my mind, what is my space for change that we need in my country, in my life, in my continent? Because when I look around me, there's so much corruption, there's so much chaos, there's so much crisis. What can I do? For this training, it was that heart-to-heart -heart connection moment where you get that sparkle in life and you're like, yeah, this is it. So people realize all of a sudden that, wait a minute, I know who I am now and you mean I can create my own joy every day? I don't, I'm not dependent upon you? Yes. Wait a minute, if, if I know who I am and if I know where I'm going, that means that if I listen to myself, can I, I get to where I need to go without waiting for someone to give it to me? Yes. For me, I was a very different person from when I started and through that I have come to find my purpose, I have come to find my joy, I have come to find who I am, I have come to find my power, I have come to forgive people that I hadn't forgiven and I have gotten to choose a path for me and do things from my heart. My perception of a leader has really and totally changed. The part of character driven leadership instead of character assassination and such things has really helped me and I believe that I am a better leader to myself so that I can be able to lead others and be a role model of what a leader should be. The world needs so much right now but it also comes down to whether our hearts are open to love someone we've demonized to feel our connection to the earth to risk seeing our faith as intricately intertwined. I have been practicing mindfulness meditation for about three years now, and it has had a profound effect in my life. But in getting to join New Generation Leadership Camp, I got a way to really connect to what next in my life with what I have been practicing for some time now. So this project has been as has inculcated in me uh, an awareness of what I have deep inside me to the outside world. I feel more connected to the people around me. I feel more connected to the path and the purpose that I have inside me and what might be. This is an important part of my life because I understand that in Kenya mostly most of the youths don't get about the real meaning of who a leader is. And I, through the programs, have understood that being a leader is not all about a political wise thing or a government thing. It's all about who you really are and how you want to show yourself, to show up to people who really need to know and to understand who a leader is. And that's why I really am so grateful about this program for making me grow and understand myself more. What I would like to see in them is that they walk out the, the, the door, you know, absolutely thinking differently and seeing everything around them differently. 
You know, that's 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 the, one of the most important things. For example, most people they think they're thinking for themselves, but they're not. They're just reacting to what they've been told. So if I'm telling you this and you're hearing that and you're hearing this on the news all the time, you're reading this on the that's what your brain has. So when you see something, you you will match it with what you've been taught. Now if I know that's true and it is true, then I can manipulate you so easily by just making sure that you have the information I want you to have so that when certain things happen, you react. And I, you'll react the way I want. I own you at that point. The bottom line of the program is we want people to understand that leadership is about being who you were created to be. And that leadership is not about manipulating people you know, leadership is working with people of any faith, of any culture, of, you know, of any economic. It doesn't matter. People are all one. Transformation within is transformation without.